Complex numbers. A complex number is any number that can be written in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. This means 5 is a complex number because 5 equals 5 plus 0i. It also means 3i is a complex number because 3i equals 0 plus 3i. Of course, 5 plus 3i is a complex number as well. Note, the set of real numbers is included in the set of complex numbers a plus bi. This happens when b equals 0. Another note, the set of pure imaginary numbers is included in the set of complex numbers a plus bi. This means a equals 0 and b does not equal 0. Now that we have expanded our knowledge of numbers to include imaginary and complex numbers, this chart represents these new sets of numbers. Here are all the numbers we knew before, and now over here we have imaginary numbers and complex numbers. The a plus bi form of a complex number where a and b are real numbers is called standard form or component form. The real part or real component is listed first followed by the imaginary part or the imaginary component. Here are some examples of standard form of a complex number. So if we have 3 plus 2i, the real component is 3, and the imaginary component is 2i. For the number 8, the real component is 8, and the imaginary component is 0i. For the complex number negative 6i, the real component is 0, and the imaginary component is negative 6i. And for 1 third plus 5i, the real component is 1 third, the imaginary component is 5i. There's nothing surprising when adding or subtracting complex numbers. The number i commutes and distributes just like any real number, so the arithmetic of complex numbers looks very much like the arithmetic of real numbers, with the exception that i squared equals negative 1. For addition, if we have, we're adding two complex numbers together, a and c will be combined together like that, and b and d will be combined together like this, with the i over here. Subtraction works very similarly. A minus C is going to be there, and we'll have BI minus DI combined there. Exercise A, 7 plus 4i plus 3 minus 2i. So 7 plus 3 is 10, and then plus 4i minus 2i gives us 2i. Exercise B, 4 minus 5 gives us negative 1, then 3i minus negative 6 gives us 9i. When adding or subtracting complex numbers, combine like terms and leave answers in standard form. And there we go. Perform the indicated operation. Exercise C. All right, so first the real components. 5 plus 4 gives us 9. Negative 6i plus 8i gives us 2i. 12 minus 12 is 0. 3i minus negative 3i, the negative signs cancel, and we get 6i, which just equals 6i. And there we have it. Multiplying pure imaginary numbers requires some simplification. Exercise E. First, we'll multiply together all of the real coefficients, so 7 times 3 times 2 is 42. Then we multiply together all of the i's, so this is i times i times i, which is i to the third. i to the third is also i squared times i. i squared is negative 1, so this becomes negative 42i. And there we have negative 42i. When multiplying complex numbers, the process resembles the multiplication of two binomials, sometimes known as FOIL. There's one extra step that we need to keep in mind. Alright, so if we have a plus bi times c plus di, we would have a times c, which is real. Then we would have a, a times di plus bi times c plus bi times di. So that would actually, we just have to change that i squared to negative 1 and then we just simplify as we normally would. Perform the indicated operation, simplify, and write the result in standard form. All right, 2i times 3 minus 4i. So first we'll multiply 2i by 3, which is 6i minus sign, then 2i times 4i, which is 
8i squared. Then one last step, simplify the i squared. i squared is negative 1, therefore we have positive 8 plus 6i. Because remember, we want to write the real number first, then the imaginary component. Here we have 4 minus 3i squared. I'm going to just write that out like this. And then we're just going to do FOIL. So first times first, so that's 16. All right, then the outer, 4 times negative 3i is negative 12i. Negative 3i times 4 is another negative 12i. Then negative 3i times negative 3i is positive 9i squared. i squared is negative 1. So we have 16 minus 24i minus 9. 16 minus 9 is 7 minus 24i. 8 plus 6i and 7 minus 24i. Exercise H. All right, so 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times i is 3i. Negative 2i times 4 is negative 8i. And negative 2i times i is negative 2i squared. i squared is negative 1. So that this becomes positive 2. So 2 plus 12 is 14. 3i minus 8i is negative 5i. Here we have 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 times 5i is 20i. Negative 5i times 4 is negative 20i. And negative 5i times 5i is negative 25i squared. i squared is negative 1. That makes this positive 25 plus 16 is 41. And these two terms cancel out, leaving us with 41. Awesome.